loads of Korean and Japanese stationery and I just thought I would do a sort of long video showing you everything I bought. This will be the first time I've opened or used any of this stuff and it was all purchased from the journal shop which is an amazing um, online stationery store with loads of unique stationery, Japanese stationery, Korean stationery, loads of cool stuff on there. So I spent about £40, I know that sounds a lot but there is quite a bit of stuff here. I think we will start with, hmm. let's start with this little notebook. So this is by Memosign I think. Um, as you can see it's a Japanese brand and I was attracted to this because I love making lists and this is a list kind of pad. So it has a really nice yellow insert here and then the pages as you can see there's a space for your date and then little boxes where you can tick stuff off. pages have this kind of little tear off edge which is so nice and so convenient. I love this, it just feels so practical and the paper quality is amazing too. Really nice, soft and quite thick paper. So that's this cute little A6 notebook, really nice. Also 80 sheets, that's quite a lot and I'm glad to have a designated place for my lists because I love lists. Next, let's look at these. These are two notebooks by Iconic, which is a Korean brand. Ooh, they smell really, really nice. This one says, life is a journey, and it has this kind of sky scene, top of a building and a palm tree, which I love. And how special and amazing that the image actually continues on every single page of the notepad. I've never actually seen a notebook like this and I just love everything about it. The paper feels so nice and matte too. So next is the second design. It says Midnight in the Summer, again by the iconic brand. And I really like this, it seems some kind of like American dreamy pink sky, purpley sky, I just love this scene. I cannot wait to use these and do little doodles and notes on them. Adorable. So next, let's have a look at these little bookmarks. These are also made by the brand Iconic. Such cute packaging. So I love books, I love reading, and I've been trying to read more recently. I felt like these would be a really nice little addition um, to my book collection. Just something to encourage me to read more. metal or plastic it feels pretty strong I just think that these are adorable. I love the little iconic logos. I love whatever material they're made out of. And they are so dainty and cute. I think the colors are really sweet 
And the buildings remind me of buildings around the world too, buildings I've seen. They just feel really dreamy. So next, let's go to this right here. This is a writing set, a letter set. This is also by Iconic, the Korean brand. I really wanted to get this because as everyone is um, right now, we're in lockdown and I really wanted to write letters to my mum, who I'm not with currently. I thought this was cute. Let's open it up. Okay, so we have some envelopes here, two adorable envelopes with this kind of Hawaiian detail. <gasps> Ooh, that is beautiful. I love that the inside is patterned. Oh, how cute. They also have this little text here saying thank you for my every day, which is so sweet and so lovely. So those are the two envelopes. Then we'll move on to the writing paper. So this has the same design on the bottom and then on the top there. And on the back, the Hawaiian design all over. How adorable is that? I feel like this would be so nice to receive. I really like writing letters anyway, so this is gonna make it so much more special. And then this sweet, little pair of stickers which I'm guessing you use to seal the envelopes. I just think they are so, so lovely. I would love to receive a letter made with this writing set. Next up we have this adorable little pack of clips. It says here made of paper and PP, so I'm guessing they are kind of recycled. 18 clips in six colours, flower design. And these are by Midori. You can see that someone's using them to clip paper together, but I just think they look so cute. If we look on the back here, it says that they're made in China, but this is a Japanese company. Dory P51 clips and then the adorable flower design on the front. As you can see it just scratched my nail there. Oh dear. So it doesn't really open. I'm guessing you have to slip the paper in there and that is just probably the cutest thing I've ever seen. There's such a cute combination of colours and I've just never seen anything like this. I think they're so simple, they look kind of retro in a way, sort of 60s or 70s. I love these little clips. Okay, now I have this little weird pencil sharpener creature. So this is by Kutsua. I'm sorry to anyone Japanese that's listening. And this basically, from what I gather, you can choose how sharp the pencil that you sharpen is by using this little tool. I needed a sharpener anyway, so I thought this would be a really cool little sharpener to use. Let's open it up. So it's just a little plastic tool. You are discovering this the same time as me. I'm doing this all on camera for the first time. So please excuse me if this takes a bit of time. So that's the part that you open, put the pencil in. Ooh. And then this is how you choose how sharp you want the pencil. So what I'm gonna do is go run, get a pencil, and then we're gonna actually try this out. I'm back and I have a pencil. 
pencil hair. It's pretty blunt as you can see. Okay, that's pretty sharp. I'm gonna get another pencil and try a different tip. So this is slightly less sharp. Okay, I'm back with the pink and we're gonna try, oh, okay, it didn't break. Amazing, so this is the least sharpened pencil. So just for comparison, we have this red at the top which was the most sharpened setting. Then this teal in the middle, a bit less sharp. And then at the end, this pink, which is way more blunt. That is amazing. What a cool little thing that I've never ever heard of or seen before. Let's check inside. There's all the sharpenings. I love this. I will definitely be using this because sometimes you don't want a totally sharpened pencil and I'm really positively surprised and pleased with this. For this next bit we have loads of pens and stuff. I thought I would get um, my pad out and we can try some of them out. We'll start with this pen. This is by Penko. It's called Birograph and it says best writing instrument a retractable ballpoint assembly. Reference 4988342 high tide made in USA. Although this is made in the USA, Penko is a Japanese brand. It's a bit sticky, but that's okay. So this is a pretty standard biro. It just looks really cool. I wasn't sure what to expect when I ordered this, but yeah, I'll be using that, no complaints. Let's move on to this. This is Moonlight Sakura PGB or Sakura, I'm not sure. This is a Japanese gel pen. I used to have one like this at school and I just had to get this one because it reminded me so much. The one I had at school was actually um, kind of white pearl color. Super smooth. Gel pens are amazing anyway, but this one is just adorable. And I love that bright color. Next, let's look at this, also by Penko. Passes Mate 0.5 millimeter. This is a pen that looks, no, it's a pencil that looks like a pencil, but it's a pencil that has the lead that goes out when you click and it looks like a traditional pencil. Did that make sense? It maybe didn't, but let's see. So yeah, just a really nice, simple, retractable, mechanical pencil. To be honest, I just think that this looks really, really cute and that's why I wanted to buy it. This is also by Penko. Permanent writer, 0.5 fine. Writes, marks, draws, made in Japan, alcohol-based, fine tip. See how this goes. It has a really fine tip. 
it smells like a permanent marker. It has that strong smell and it has that kind of shiny appearance that um, like Sharpie markers have. Super fine. I don't know if anyone else just likes writing their name when they're testing out pens, but I do. I like this. It's just a simple permanent marker, but I love that it has such a fine nib. And I'll definitely be using this in my daily sketchbook. Yeah, cool little pen. So on the subject of Penco, here we have a brush writer. The previous pen was a permanent writer. And this one, let's see. Again, writes, marks, draws, made in Japan. This has a water-based dye rather than the oil base of the previous pen. Ooh. Nice. So this is a pretty thick brush pen. You can make quite a fat line thinner lines depending on how you use it. Nice. Obviously I'm just making a mess here. But yeah, I really like this. I like how it stays black. I think with some brush writers they kind of get a bit thinner when you're using them, when you're dragging them on the paper. But this one feels quite inky. And yeah, I really like that. Here we have two pens that are the same but just a different colour. These are called Brushables by Zig Memory System. It says brush up on colour, acid free, archival quality, pigment ink, keep horizontal. This is another Japanese company as you can see. So here we have a kind of pink and a grey. And when I read about these on the Journal Shop website they said that there was a darker side and then a lighter side. We have a kind of brush tip here. Ooh, that colour is beautiful. And then on the other side. Ooh, it's a kind of lighter, very slightly lighter pink. That's amazing. It's so dreamy. I absolutely love these colours. Next we have this colour that's kind of a grey, again darker and then lighter. Let's see. I love drawing daisies, so sorry if you're bored of them, but they're my favourite. Ooh, even more of a contrast with this one. You can really see the, the difference um, in grey tones. Oh, I love them. And if I was more talented at drawing, I could definitely utilise them more. Like, imagine a comic with these kind of colours in them. You could do so many things. So yeah, approved. So lastly we have this strange thing. I wanted to save it till last because honestly it is so strange. It says sticking paste, it's by Yamato, made in Japan. This was advertised as a kind of glue and I just wish that you could feel this. It is way squishier than it looks. Let's open it up. 
doesn't smell bad. Oh, we have glue. Let's just put a bit on here so we can see the texture. So yeah, I think this is non-toxic. If I've kept that in the video, then it is non-toxic. It doesn't have a smell or a colour and it just looks like normal glue. Obviously it's wet, but that is definitely going to glue down. It's just glue, but of course I had to try it. Um, I'm not used to anything looking like this before. And yeah, it's cute. If nothing else, it makes a good stress toy. Here is everything laid out and obviously I love everything I bought here. I think my favourites have to be these little iconic notebooks. I love the little messages on them and I just think they are so cute. It's such a nice idea to have the image on every page. Obviously this little sharpener is such a genius kind of little simple gadget to have. As well, shout out to the flower pins, I am just obsessed with them and I don't actually have any paper to pin together but I want to just to use them. Of course as well, special shout out to the little bookmarks, I'm already excited to read tonight just so I get to try them out. I feel like this stuff here is just so cute and so beautiful that it's fun to use. I'm so used to the usual stationery that I have but these Korean and Japanese brands really put kind of the design and fun of everything to the forefront and I really just appreciate that. It's good to be excited about stationery and it makes you want to create more and write more and that's always a good thing. Anyway, I hope this was at least a nice distraction for you. I know everything is crazy right now in the world so maybe this little stationery haul will be something happy to listen to. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to the journal shop. This wasn't sponsored, I did buy everything, but they're such a good store and I definitely recommend checking them out. Thank you everyone and I will see you soon.